What up guys, it's your girl Ali. Today I will be doing a reverse tie-dye shirt. Mainly because it sounded really fun to do. I had I was, you know, just looking up random stuff, trying to see what I should do, and came up with a lot of ideas, but this is one that I'm really excited about, only because I haven't tie-dyed since I was like, I don't know, like maybe, I don't know, first grade maybe and but we're gonna be doing reverse tie-dye which is tie-dyeing with black shirts not a white shirt I was definitely holding that all kinds of wrong but so I got some shirts I also got these luminous glow UV fabric paints um, and you can use it for tie-dye I have read of I've read about it and it said you could use it for tie-dye. So yeah, I will be using these. And I have I have a whole bunch of colors. Actually, let me just show you the whole box. I mean, you can't really see the colors because the packaging is black and all that, but you get a pretty good idea of what I'm talking about. And then I also, of course, got some rubber bands because you need it for tie-dye. And yeah, so let's get started on doing that. All right, so <clears throat> I don't remember exactly how to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and rip off this tag though because I hate the tags on shirts. So we're gonna take that off and then I'm gonna see, I don't, I don't know. I don't remember how to do it. Maybe I should do like the, hold on, let me move this. Maybe I should do like the uh, traditional type way, like where you just turn it from the middle and make it into a ball type thing. Hold on, if I could figure it out, cause like I said, I haven't done this in a while. And I didn't really look up videos on tie-dyeing, not 100% anyway, so it's kind of just a me thing right now. I think I got it. Not 100%. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and add the rubber bands. Uh, sorry. Didn't mean to pull it away from the screen. But um, ugh. I don't know if I got the right out. Rubber bands. These rubber bands hurt though. God dang. Um, this is like, sorry. <laughs> this is like holding it very tightly. Uh, I don't know guys, I don't know. All right, we're gonna add this one. Maybe we should just not make it so tight. Maybe that's my problem, making it too tight. My battery dying, everything's not going right. Did things ever go right for me? Nah, nah, not really. We're gonna place this rubber band on her. Then we're gonna do what they do. I don't know, I kind of want to bleach it guys, because I don't believe in this whole not bleaching it thing. Maybe, I don't know, I'm supposed to be trying it out, right? Try it out for you guys, so y'all don't do dumb purchase like I did. Alright, so I'm pretty much just fixing it now. Trying to get it to look kind of like what it does in pictures when they tie-dye. Now, with me not being fully prepared and all, I don't have the bottle I need with bleach and all that well I don't need bleach sorry with the liquid and all that so I'm gonna go get that and I'll be back all right guys I'm back after like I don't know that took about 10 15 minutes to try to get this situated but um I got some bleach here cuz we gonna bleach one of these shirts yeah I rolled up another one so we're gonna bleach one of these shirts and do the other one just straight paint and see if it actually works. If not, then 
or bleach that one too. I think I'm gonna bleach this one and then do this one with just paints. So we're gonna go ahead. I did put a protective thing on here, but I don't think this should be sitting down straight. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and bleach a couple of these spots, not all of them. But we're gonna make sure it goes all the way through. Change my mind, I'm bleaching the whole shirt. I'm also let this sit until it turns a yellow and then bleach it again. So this is gonna be a process, guys. For the bleach one anyway. I think the other one I just get to paint it and then set it aside for like 30 minutes, I think. And then it should be done. I could dry it and it'll be done. All right, so I'm gonna leave this one to sit by its lonesome elsewhere. Now we are going to do, oh shoot, I forgot to fix my area that has bleach. Um, we're just going to go ahead and bolt this over because I don't feel like doing all that extra stuff. So anyways, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and grab our first color, which is going to be a pinkish purple. I had it way close to the screen, <laughs> but um, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it onto here. I don't know if this is actually gonna work, guys. Like, I really highly don't believe in this working. This is not gonna work. I'm telling y'all that now. They lied. I think the paint is just for painting on fabric, not tie dyeing. Even though on Amazon it stated that you can use this paint for tie dyeing. So I, I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong or maybe you're just supposed to bleach it in order to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off and then tie this up in a different way and um, go ahead and bleach it or maybe no nah, I'm just gonna take this out um, do it in a different way and go ahead and bleach it because when you bleach your shirt to tie-dye it's supposed to be dry so yeah we're gonna go ahead and just uh, we're done longer all right we're just gonna go ahead and do what we gotta do this one and see if it comes out good this looks just stupid right here I don't know if y'all can see that see this Looks stupid. Ugh, I'm annoyed. I feel like this is going to be a damaged shirt and I'm going to be upset. Hopefully I can fix it with this reverse tie dye. So let's do this. All right guys, so this is what I'm doing to this one. I'm like making it in a, sorry. <laughs> Trying to put this on and talk at the same time, but making it into like a tube type as they would call it. Like it'll go well advanced all the way down to here, but yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I'll be back to show y'all how I'm gonna bleach it. All right, so here it is. This long tube of shirts. And hopefully y'all can see that, yeah. All right, we're gonna take the bleach and I'm going to bleach every two and skip one. Sounds like a plan. So I got tired of waiting and <laughs> I might have damaged my shirts. Um, I completely submerged them in bleach. Because I read you could do that for certain uh, reverse tie-dye types. Hopefully it comes out right. It's like brown. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I should have just stuck with the plain and simple white shirts and tie-dye them. I'm being real extra right now for no reason. 
and I'm kind of upset with myself. So hopefully these come out. But the sad part is I gotta let them sit in the color in a bag for like till tomorrow. <laughs> so y'all won't see it till tomorrow. Or I won't see it till tomorrow. Y'all still ain't gonna see this video till tomorrow regardless. So to you it's gonna be like a second later and not even like a blink of an eye. It's there. <laughs> so yeah. Well, I'll be back when my shirts look the way I want them to look bleached. And then I'm gonna show you how I color them. And that'll probably be the end of it until tomorrow when I um, <laughs> show them what they look like. I'll yeah. try them on. My kids are being loud. I'm sorry. That's, can't get over that one. Nope. They're five and four years old. And now that they hear me saying this, it's like they get louder. Why do kids do that? Why? Just getting on my nerves. All right. Um, yeah, I'll be back when they're done doing what they're doing because right now they don't look like they're doing nothing. But then again, I'm very impatient. So there goes that. <laughs> All right guys, so like 30 minutes later and I'm finally ready to show you what it looks like bleached, which actually I'm not too mad about. I actually wouldn't mind keeping it the way it looks right now, but I still wanna try the fabric paint that I have, so. Sorry, I thought I got it on my shirt. But anyways, um, but if the fabric paint doesn't show up like it's supposed to, like I said, I won't, I won't be mad because it actually don't look that bad. This is the one that I swirled from the middle. Look at that. That does not look bad at all. Here is the one that I uh, kind of just pinched it from like right here and did a whole tube kind of thing. And that one came out very bleached. Like, yeah, I think they call this like the bullseye pattern because, you know, bullseye made it all the way out there. But, um, yeah, that one didn't come out bad either. So now I'm going to, sorry, my kids are nosy. But now I'm going to go ahead and add the color to them and we're gonna see how that goes. So I have a brand new plastic bag here, non-bleached, so. Ain't no more bleaching going into my shirts, but we're gonna do my favorite one first, which is, I like this one. I don't know guys, I don't think the color's gonna show up in my opinion. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this pink that I have set up, pink or purple pink, whatever you wanna consider it as. So, here it is. It looks so pretty on camera, but it looks so horrifying. I mean, now that I'm done, it don't look that bad. But we'll see in the morning when I take it out the bag and, you know, I think I'm supposed to rinse it and it should be done. I'm going to dry it in the dryer and I'll hit that record button and have y'all see it. But, and then I think my plans are to probably have my daughter put her hand here. My son put his hand here because he has a smaller hand. And then... Possibly with the white have like like I'm gonna paint their name on there and it'll be cute. I'm excited. Hopefully it all works out the way I want it to. So yeah, those are my plans. So uh it'll be a millisecond to y'all, but to me it's tomorrow, so I will see y'all again tomorrow. So it's the next day. Now I'm gonna show you the shirt that I had colored. I am not so happy with the result. I mean, as you can see, it didn't show up at all. I mean, this, I don't know what that is. It looks slightly pink, but in reality, it's not. So, now I'm just gonna, I mean, I'm not too mad about it. I'm gonna have my daughter go first. <laughs> And she's going to put her hand down on this side of the shirt. On this side of the shirt. Right here. Right here. Put your hand right here. Put your hand. 
What are we gonna put to him? Okay. Okay. Take your little finger out. Okay. Right here. Okay. Press down a little bit. Then I have my son. Put your hand there. Oh, that's time. All right, so now my son is ready to go. I'm gonna have him put his hand here. Down, push down hard, touch. All right, ready? Yeah. Make sure all your fingers drop down on me. Hold on, sorry, don't pick up your hand. All right, pick up your hand. All right, guys, and here is the ending result. It really, it doesn't, I don't, mm, I really don't think I like it too much. I might just tie dye a regular shirt or something to make me happy. Here's my son's name. Here's my daughter's handprint. All in all, I really don't like it. It's like really close to my skin color, kind of. I don't I don't know it's weird I don't know nope this was a fail and as for the paint actually working on black whether you're using it for tie-dye or just to paint on the fabric as it's supposed to it doesn't work either it's supposed to work for black shirts as well and it does not look how lame those colors came out like it's supposed to be vibrant and pretty. I'll show you, I'll insert a picture here, hopefully if I remember, and show you what it's supposed to look like, supposedly. But anyway, so that will be all, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.